So guys, we are back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys, I bring you a complete guide on what in my opinion is the fastest way to earn and get those energy activators. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So energy activators are enhancement materials in the first descendant. They are used to increase uh, the module capacity of weapons by 30 and descendants by 20. But the grind to get these can be ext well is extremely tedious. Let's not lie to ourselves. That's probably because Nexon want you to spend money on getting these materials. It's that simple and it makes sense. But I want to give you guys what in my opinion is the quickest way of getting these. Now these consist of multiple different materials for you to research them and even when you have materials or most of them it's still only considered by chance that you get the final blueprint which is a bit of a pain in the ass but hey. Now in total this is what is required to research the energy activators. You need 55 low carbon activators, 25 conductive metallic foils, 55 heat plasma batteries, 72 polytonic ion particles and then the one energy activator blueprint which is by far the hardest thing to get. So let's start guys and we will obviously have the timestamps in the video description for any particular material you're looking for. But we'll start in order and that's with the low carbon activators. So you need 55 of these and the place you get them is in Kingston, the zone recon mission here within the Fallen Theatre area. Now at the moment there is a glitch you can currently use but it will be patched soon I'm pretty sure of it. Where you should simply head to this zone recon mission, shoot the three containers of A, B and C, then the boss does spawn in. You take him down to a one shot or if you are confident you can hit him with one shot. You are good to leave him. Then guys you want to walk away from the area or walk out of the mission until you see that zone recon a mission failure a notification on the top of your screen in that red text. Wait until the timer is at that zero second mark and then just simply kill the boss. He drops the materials but you instantly fail the mission at the same time. Well then you can reset the mission by simply stepping back into that zone recon area and it triggers the mission again. So you can repeat this more or less instantly people of killing the boss getting those materials, restarting the zone recon mission by shooting the containers or whatever, the boss will respawn in again, again step away from the area until you get a notification on your screen, kill the boss on that zero second timer mark, he will drop the loot, he'll fail the mission and you can do this over and over. Now if this does get patched, the simplest way to do this and the quickest way to do this um, is to fast travel to another area and come back to this area. 8 times out of 10 the zone recon mission will have reset or close to be doing so. So yes, take out the zone recon mission, fast travel to another area, fast travel back here and it should be reset or close to being reset. Okay so next up guys we need 25 of the conductive metallic foil. Okay so this is an item which as far as I'm aware drops from two sources. The first being the encrypted bolts, uh, but these require those called analyzers and breakers which in themselves take a farm. Now the other way of getting them to my understanding is to farm enemies across the Vespers region. Now because I am well aware people will run out of those cold analyzers and breakers and because the latest patch it seems as though things may have changed for the better in regards to drops, I myself look for an easier option and an easier mission across Vespers which can drop both the conductive metallic foils and the cold breakers. Now I found a mission, it's a quick mission to run, takes you about 2 minutes to do so but it has a chance of dropping both of these. Now they drop from the enemies with inside of this mission. The mission is the captured base mission right here on Vesper so come here guys it can be run quite quite quickly I'm not gonna lie to you but I have run multiple missions across Vespers and it's by far the best one I was having that success with so yes if you're in need of these conductive metallic foils or the cold breakers far miss. Now if you do have those cold breakers and analyzers in abundance and you want to use them the best place to do so is within the Vespers region again within the Timber 4 area. Now from this fast travel point follow the path I take on screen now where you will come across two or three of these where you can use these analyzers and breakers and these guys once you do open them up if you have that good timing you will also get these conductive metallic foils from these too so yes.
Okay, so next up guys, we need 55 of the heat plasma batteries. Okay, so this is the material that drops from one of two missions found on Haggis. We have the Haven mission and the old mystery mission. About halfway through both of these missions, you will uh, come across an elite enemy that drops these. Now for me, the Haven mission is by far the quicker option to run. And these can both be done on a hard mode or normal mode. Makes sense to do it on normal mode in my opinion, uh, as the enemies are much lower level. Plus they are lower level in the Haven mission too than they are within the old mystery mission. So yes, do the Haven mission guys, far I'm to about halfway through it. You can then uh, create the mission by going to Albion and coming back and restarting it or just finish the mission and restart it from there. It's completely up to you. But the Haven mission, in my opinion, is definitely the best way of getting these. Okay, so next up guys, we need 72 of the polytomic ion particles. So this is a material you can easily get from a mission within the Frozen Valley area on Fortress. The mission right here spawns in two elites over the course of this mission, which you can complete in mere minutes, and each enemy elite can drop up to nine of said materials. You can also have the boss too, although I've farmed it for a while. The boss never dropped me any of these, so it's just those two enemies as far as I'm aware. But you can get about 18 if you're lucky uh, in about two minutes. They ain't a guaranteed drop, but most times they do drop it. So I think it's either two, seven or nine is the quantities they can drop in. But just farm it a few times, guys, and you should have enough. Okay, so the last thing you need, guys, is the energy activator blueprint. Now, this, in my opinion, the easiest way to get this is to get the amorphous pattern material too and this comes from the kingston mission of magister's labs run this can take about two or three minutes at max guys do this on normal too it drops this pattern 100 percent at a time now why this is the best way of doing this is because once you get this amorphous pattern material 002 like i said it drops at a 100 percent drop rate so yeah once you complete the mission you get these probably do it a few times to be honest but once you get these guys you then need to go and take on the void intercept boss of the grave walker do this on normal and he absolutely will be obliterated it's so so easy guys there's no excuse not to do this but as per usual once you get to that reconstructed device to spend that pattern, that amorphous pattern material 002, it's only a 3% chance of getting this blueprint. So it is few and far between, but it is by far the easiest way for you getting this blueprint. Like I said, there are slightly easier ways much, much later in game. Uh, but right now, in my opinion, farm that mission of Magister's Labs on Kingston. Get as many of these uh, amorphous patterns as you possibly can and just rinse and repeat this uh, void intercept boss over and over and over until you get what you need now these are purposely made hard to get like i said next i want you to spend your money on said material because they have such an importance in regards to end game build so yeah keep that in mind but well, this in my opinion the quickest way of getting the energy activators and all the materials to craft them or research them guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one.